Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. So in this video, I am going to tell about capacitor bank sizing for power factor improvement. Okay, so before I start this session, I would like to request you, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's start the session actually how we will calculate the capacitor bank size okay by following some steps so let's start from step one in step one we will have to calculate the total connected load of the building okay or according to your requirement if you are going to select the capacitor bank size for industry then calculate the total connected load for the industry okay here i am going to calculate the total load for hotel building okay for this i have considered lighting load is 50 kilowatt raw power load is 150 kilowatt hvac load is 150 kilowatt plumbing load is 100 kilowatt and elevator or lift load is 50 kilowatt so let's add all this load to get total connected load so final calculated total connected load is 500 kilowatt okay now move to step 2 so in step 2 we have to select the desired power factor value so as per your requirements select the power factor value desired power factor value so actually what would be your desired power factor value for example 0.8 0 0.95 0 0.96 okay now i have taken desired power factor value 0 0.99 okay now move to step third in this step now according to total connected load and desired power factor value as per that now we are going to calculate the capacitor bank size okay as per capacitor bank size formula here we have total connected load 500 kilowatt as we have calculated in step 1 okay now desired power factor is 0 0.99 we already selected in step 2 but here as per your requirement you can change your desired power factor value okay now as you know that okay capacitor bank size formula so this is the formula for capacitor bank size which is rated in kvar is equal to total connected load multiply by tan into cos inverse 0 0.8 okay this is the reference power factor value we usually always take 0 0.8 over here subtract tan into cos inverse desired power factor value so now i am going to put this value total connected load and desired power factor over this formula okay so over here this total connected load we have put it over here and multiply by tan into cos inverse and 0 0.8 which is our reference power factor value subtract 10 into cos inverse here we have desired power factor value we have to put desired factor value so we have taken desired factor value 0 0.99 so we put over here 0 0.99 and after calculation of this cos inverse 0 0.8 and cos inverse 0 0.99 is equal to 500 into 10 so cos inverse 0 0.8 is equal to 36.86 degree okay minus 10 and cos inverse 0 0.99 is equal to 8.10 degree okay so after this calculation we got this one so now we are going to calculate this value 10 
36.86 degree equal to what or 10 8.10 degree equal to what okay so after putting the value of so here is a 500 which is already total connected load into 10 30.86 degree is equal to 0 0.74 okay and 10 8.10 degree is equal to 0 0.14 so after this subtraction 0 0.14 from 0 0.74 that will be equal to 500 into 0 0.6 so this is the subtraction value from subtraction of this value from this value okay so we have got 500 into 0 0.6 now finally our calculated capacitor bank size is 300 kVA. Okay, so this is our calculated capacitor value. Okay, now move to step 4. In step 4, we have to select the capacitor bank size as per the calculated value from the capacitor bank size selection chart. Okay, as we have calculated the capacitor bank size in previous step. So what is the calculated value for capacitor bank size that is 300 kVR but as per this it might not be fine in market so before finalize the capacitor bank size we have to select the capacitor bank size selection chart as per manufacturer by comparing the calculated value of capacitor bank size so here we have already calculated capacitor bank which is 300 kVR this is the calculated capacitor bank size now here we have capacitor bank size sizes available in market so this is the selection charge now we can compare this calculated value which is 300 with this selection charge so here we always select the value equal to calculated value or above than that don't select below it okay so here this is the near to 300 and here we have exact 300 kvr so our final calculated capacitor bank size is 300 okay so our proposed capacitor bank size is 300 kvr so 300 kvr capacitor bank is required to achieve 0.99 power factor so as per this we can manufacture the automatic power factor correction panel even we can raise the purchase order according to this size so in this video we have discussed about how to calculate the capacitor bank size to achieve desired power factor value so hope you guys understand this topic so thank you for watching this video Please like, share, comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. Thank you very much. See you again in next video.